Hello, my name is Mewingcat and welcome to my updated walkthrough of Town 2 in the St. Patrick's Day event. This video is an update of the walkthrough I made last year. It makes the town around 1 hour quicker with a theoretical minimum time of around 23 hours without costing any more pots of gold. That said, my old walkthrough from last year still works great, so you can find both of them in my updated St. Patrick's Day spreadsheet linked in the description. As usual, I also have an event tutorial and strategy guide for this event, both in video and written formats, which are also linked in the description. And one final thing before I begin, this content takes quite a long time to make, so if you find it helpful, please leave a like and a comment and share it with your friends and guildmates, it really does help me out. Alright, let's begin the town by unlocking the hats building and buying the required managers. My recommendation for this town is to get hats to level 1, festival to level 3 and shipyard to level 3. Now your first goal is to level your hats up to level 25. This will not take long at all, only a minute or so. After that you should level both your festival and shipyard to level 10. When that is complete, you will get your first upgrade task, and you'll have enough shamrocks to unlock the flowers. Upgrade the manager to level 3, and then upgrade the building to level 5. Then it's back to festival and shipyard, upgrading them to level 25, and then back to flowers to get that to level 25 as well. After that you should level the festival and shipyard to level 50, and you should do so at the same time. You don't have to be that precise, I usually just keep max on and go back and forth between them until both are fully leveled. When that is on, you should get hats to level 50 as well. A minute or so later, you can unlock the cake factory and upgrade the manager to level 1. You will now get your next upgrade task. First, you should get Cake Factory to level 5 to increase your production, and then you should level Festival and Shipyard to level 100, again at the same time. And this step is the first that differs from last year's guide, but from here on out there will be quite a few more small changes. So, after getting both to level 100, you should go back to Cake and get it up to level 31. You should now upgrade Flowers to level 50, and hats to level 100, which will only take a few seconds. Make sure to collect the task, and you will get your next upgrade task, this one to upgrade buildings 100 times. This you will complete by upgrading shipyard and festival to level 150, and once again you should do so at the same time. And again, you don't have to keep them absolutely level all the time, just go back and forth between them. Alright, now you have to wait 5 or so minutes, and then you can unlock the drinks factory and get the manager to level 2. You should now upgrade drinks to level 9, and then shipyard to level 189, which might sound quite strange, but the idea here is that by leveling shipyard to 189 first, you are able to stockpile shamrocks on the western side of the river, so that by the time you have leveled your festival to level 200, which is your next target, it will have a lot of shamrocks to collect quickly. And level 189 seems to be a sweet spot here for the shipyard, any lower and you won't stockpile enough shamrocks, and any higher you will stockpile too much so you don't save any additional time. Anyways, after getting Shipyard to 199, you should fully level Festival to level 200. And then it's back to Shipyard to finish off the final 11 levels to get it to level 200 as well. And as you can see, the stockpile was almost enough to level the Shipyard instantly. Now, because we leveled Drinks to level 9 earlier, we also have stockpiled a lot of Shamrocks on the eastern side, so we can now unlock the Fireworks Factory instantly, and here you should get the Manager to level 2. I actually messed up here and I only got it to level 1, but I catch it quite soon, so I didn't lose out on too much. Anyways, we should now take a quick detour and level drinks to level 25, which will only take a minute or so. You should also level flowers to level 100 to complete this task, before going back to fireworks to get it up to level 14. It's now back to the festival and shipyard, and once again we will start with the shipyard, upgrading it to level 235 this time. And this is where I caught that I only had a level 1 fireworks manager, so I fixed that real quick. After getting shipyard to level 235, you should fully upgrade festival to level 250. While doing that, you will complete this task to collect 15 trillion shamrocks, which you should collect immediately so you can start on the next upgrade task. 
After getting festival to 250, it is back to the shipyard, upgrading it to level 250 as well. When that is complete, it is time to move back to fireworks, getting it up to level 32. After that, you should get cakes to level 100, and then hats to level 200, both two complete tasks. Alright, you have now completed what I call the start of the town, which as you can see took just over two hours. Now we come into the first truly long phase of the town, where your goal is to level your festival and shipyard to level 300. This will take you just under 14 hours to achieve, but luckily hardly any of that is actively playing, you just have to log in every now and then to upgrade. Now this time we are actually doing yet another variation of leveling the buildings. First you should get festival to level 265 before getting the shipyard to level 288. The idea here is the same, you want to stockpile shamrocks by leveling shipyard first, but for that you also want a few levels in festival to boost up the collection rate while doing so. Anyways, after that it is back to the festival, but only take it up to 270 at first. When you hit that mark you should wait until you have collected 15 trillion cakes, which should take you roughly another four and a half hours. After collecting that, you get your final upgrades task, so you can now continue on festival, getting it up to level 300. After that, it's time to bring your shipyard to level 300 as well. Then it's time to level fireworks to level 50 for this task, but also to produce enough shamrocks. And then you basically just want to choose the cheapest option each time to complete the remaining upgrades you need for this upgrade task. If you've followed my recommendations precisely, that is drinks to level 55, cake to 106 and flowers to 154. Alright, now all that remains is to collect 8.4 quadrillion shamrocks, which will take around 6 hours and 40 minutes. During that time you will complete this task to gather flowers, make sure to collect it and the next task, but then you are done, and once you have 8.4 quadrillion shamrocks, you can complete the town. As you can see here, I did it in just over 23 hours. But don't worry, the event is long, and depending on your strategy, it is very unlikely you'll need to complete towns anywhere close to this fast. For more on that though, check out my strategy video and written guide. And also make sure to check out my walkthrough for the other two towns. All of that and much more you can find linked in the description. And that's it for my town 2 walkthrough. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it gave you a better idea of how to play this minigame. Alright, before I end this video, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting my channel. I would like to thank Homestar, Fort Perfect, Lorden, Rockadobin, Kim Kaylee, Roll of the Eighth, PQ the Goat, Dan Suminat, JT, Chanti, Merrick B, Hugo Kant von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Truth the Drumness, Filda, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Merthen Embrys, Spike from No Remorse, Henrik Tare Klerberg, Mattia, Opsi the Obsessed, Raf, Adaril, Mike, Wolfboy, Atomic, Ruth, Flavius Belisarius, and Karen. Thanks a lot for support, thanks for watching, take care, and good luck in the event.